Joining us now on the phone is tonight's special guest, Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump. And Mr. Trump, thanks for being with us. Uh, let's turn to Charlotte, uh, the prospect for yet another night of violence in that city. I must say at the outset, your call for unity uh, stands in marked contrast to those of others uh, in this country uh, who have yet to give their voice to that, uh, to that very essential quality. Well, thank you very much, Lou. There has to be unity, and we don't have unity in our country, as you know. We have a very divided country in many ways. But uh, we do not have unity, and we don't have jobs, and we don't have education. And we need things like jobs and education to get that whole situation taken care of, or it's going to only get worse. And uh, one step forward in the city of Tulsa tonight, uh, in the district attorney there, charging the police officer who shot and killed uh, a, uh, a citizen, uh, charging first-degree manslaughter. It turns out uh, he was unarmed. Uh, your reaction to that charge? Well, you know, there's no bigger supporter or defender of the police than me, but I looked at that and I couldn't understand it. There was nothing I could see that would lead me to believe that that was a good situation. It looked like she certainly did something very wrong and whether she choked which happens people choke and maybe she choked or she couldn't handle the pressure or something went very very wrong but it just looked like that man did nothing wrong i mean he walked with his hands up slowly put his hands on the car i i just don't see how they could have possibly shot him and so you know we can all understand i guess how that could have happened in terms of the action taken by the prosecutors Rudy Giuliani, uh, the former mayor of New York City, who is one of your principal advisors, saying that he believes that it's essential to bring law and order to the cities so that there is not a rush to judgment, whether it be on one community uh, represented uh, by one citizen uh, who is involved in a police shooting, but to make certain that the, the system of justice works and that there is a withholding of judgment and that there is a presumption of innocence that applies to citizens as well as to police officers involved in these kinds of confrontations. Well, Rudy's 100% right. He's been a, an early endorser. He's gone around with me. He's not only uh, was a great mayor, he's a very popular guy. I can tell you that. We're getting very, very big crowds. I'm in Pennsylvania right now in the Philadelphia area. We have a massive crowd. I'm getting ready to go on and speak. But when I'm with Lou, I just delay that. You understand. When Lou Dobbs calls, I delay my speech, I can tell you. Well, but Rudy I, I has been, that. you know, I mean that too. Uh, Rudy has been a uh, just a fantastic guy in so many ways, and you know he's a big believer in stop and frisk. Uh, and you take a place like Chicago, which is just out of control, three thousand shootings so far since January first. Yeah. Three thousand. Yeah. This is like, and I'm talking about from January first. And Stop and frisk is something they should absolutely be doing and doing it quickly. Now, they also need more police and they need lots of other things, including help and jobs, and, and they have to work on the whole community. I mean, obviously everything's wrong, but stop and frisk, I think, is very important, uh, Lou, for that. I want to turn uh, as well to foreign policy very quickly. Uh, meeting with, you met with uh, President uh, Sisi of Egypt. Uh, I heard from the Egyptian uh, uh, representatives uh, that they were thrilled that you took the time that you did, the amount of time uh, for that discussion, uh, and, and they felt very strongly that it was a productive meeting. Uh, what from your view? Well, I thought it was very productive. He's a uh, fantastic guy. He took control of Egypt, and he really took control of it, and I thought it was a great meeting. We met for a long time, actually. We had a long meeting, mm -hmm. and got along. There was a good chemistry there. You know when you have good chemistry with people, you're the king of that. And there was a very good chemistry, good feeling between us. And uh, I really enjoyed that meeting. It was the other day. And, and I learned a lot. And perhaps he learned something. But I'll tell you, he took control of the country. He's gotten the terrorists out and, you know, wiped them out. And we talked about that. He took a very tough approach, much different than our approach, I can tell you. And he really did pretty much wipe them out, and you have no choice. They don't have the problem now. They were having a tremendous problem, as you know before, tremendous problem. So he's done a very good job, and, and we had a very respectful meeting. 
The debate's upcoming. Your opponent is uh, preparing, uh, taking some four or five days to prepare for that debate Monday evening. Uh, what are you doing, and how do you feel going into it? Well, I'm really out on the trail. I mean, I'm out in, uh, right now, I'm out in the Philadelphia area. I was out in North Carolina. We were in Ohio. We were all over the place, and uh, we've been doing a lot of work. We were yesterday in Ohio, and uh, going to North Carolina, going to Virginia, actually, on Saturday wow. for a big rally. We're getting rallies, Lou, where we have twenty and 25,000 people, sometimes more. And uh, I'm going to be doing that on Saturday night in Virginia. I think it's Roanoke. And uh, I'm also working on preparation, which I believe strongly in. But, you know, it's uh, I've seen people prepare so much that they get up there and they get locked here. They can't speak. You know, you, you've seen that, too, where they lock themselves in a cabin for three weeks and they don't want to do anything else. And I don't know. You have to be uh, you have to be yourself and you have to go up and you just have to do it. So uh, I'm really very much uh, campaigning at the same time I am preparing. As you suggest, uh, the president of the United States seldom has the opportunity to take on one challenge at a time. Uh, Donald Trump, great to have you with us. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, wish you well. And we're coming right back with much more. Stay with us.